Zero. One. Let's get started. That's right, went out and did a really long dive with Marcus to the north wall. I started recording at the very tip of the north wall and as we came around I just kind of recorded everything that we saw. Here's the very end of the north wall and we continued south all the way to about Viacitas Point. Overall it was about a hundred minute dive which I really need it and um, I told Marcus afterward it's really nice to dive with a like-minded diver with similar skill sets. Not that I'm complaining, I actually do enjoy diving with many of my open water students, but when you're diving with another diver who, who knows how to communicate down below and has uh, similar skill sets than you do, it makes for the dive to be kind of less stressful. This lobster, this was a very huge lobster. I wish I kind of had a better way to show how big it was. The visibility here was not the greatest, but the overall length of this lobster was bigger than my, my own core body. From the top of my chin down to probably where my crotch is, that thing was huge. And here is an odd couple. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm an old guy, and I remember the show, um, The Odd Couple, with Felix and Oscar. So when I saw these two guys hanging out in the hole, I, I thought of Felix and Oscar hanging out as roommates in this hole. Those of you who have a really good sack rate or can dive doubles, I, I really encourage you to go ahead and dive the north wall. There is a ton of marine life in, in the wall itself. I think um, there's more marine life in the north wall compared to the rest of La Jolla Canyon. Um, well, I shouldn't say the rest of La Jolla Canyon. More just La Jolla Shores were most of the divers go. I, I think the north wall is less frequented and so more, more marine life hang out. But a lot of larger octopus, uh, sculpin, and a ton of lobster all throughout the, the, the cracks and crevices. Here is a very large uh, octopus just kind of making its way up the wall, uh, giving us a cool show and another, oh yeah, and, and, and I've forgotten, but there are a ton of crap too. To dive the north wall, you really want to head down to about 80 feet, and you just kind of loop around the edge until you get to the very end of the north wall. You can go all the way around to the north north wall if you like. Um, if you definitely are going to need a scooter or doubles or a rebreather for that type of dive. Again, size doesn't do this justice, but um, all the octopus that I captured on video during this dive were definitely larger than both of my fists. Uh, and I mean the body. The bodies were definitely uh, larger types of octopus that we captured on video today. And they were all just hanging out, mainly I would think probably because visibility was not good, it was pretty dark, and so I'm sure these octopus were out hunting. And this one just kind of curled up because we came upon it. Here is the second moray eel that we came upon, and uh, both moray eels that we saw today were really good size. Um, this one was not shy. It was like smiling, it looked like, when we were shining the light at it. It was kind of a ham. It's like, hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? A ton of lobster in the canyon. 
I was trying to tell this one, don't go outside of the marine preserve because you're going to be perfectly fine here. This one, again, was a very, very large lobster. I don't know if this octopus had eggs or not, but it looked very sinister with his eyeballs poking out and its tentacles coiled around. I'm assuming that it's protecting its eggs. And came upon the sheephead family. I only got this one on video, the larger male. Um, like I said, Viz was not the greatest, and so every time I try to capture the male on video, it, the, the visibility was so mucky that it, it didn't do it justice. I tried to video it, but it just didn't come out, so it wasn't even worth making the cut. And more lobster. If you really like lobster, you can check out the uh, north wall. This was actually kind of funny because as I was recording the lobster, this really large, um, I think it's a calico bass, just came right up to us and I was like, hey, what are you guys looking at? Oh yeah, there's a ton of lobster. This calico really enjoyed hanging out with us during this dive. I would say probably hung out with us for a good minute or so. Here we are uh, doing our deco and uh, Marcus is about to signal to me to go up to 20 feet to finish up our last deco commitment. Get out there and do some diving. Hope to see you down below.